What's with all the soldiers? Did someone tip them off? We need to warn Yorvith. Skrata! Or not. Onward! Those hate mongers mutant. Think yourself a hero, do you? Sail away, and I'll burn these sluts alive. We sail. Our women are prepared to die. But I'm not prepared to let murder happen. I'm going ashore. Women Witcher! Where's Lorena? He's escaped. Windblade! Lorena's calling for reinforcements! We must sail! Unbind us!
he'll not live long. If the local folk don't hunt him down, someone else will. It's meaningless. You rescued our women. We are indebted. Help me find the Kingslayer and Triss. We'll be even. In that case, Tavergan! Prepare to set sail! Did Vernon Roach sail out of here all right? He's fine, if that's what you ask. We met and chatted. Imagine that. I wanted him to know that he was only leaving because I let him do so. The Temerian Special Forces, created by Foltes to combat the Scoyatal after the first war with Nilfgaard. Veterans, professionals, the best of the best. This is the end, Roach. See these emblems? Temerian lilies, that's all I lacked. I've defeated the commanders of all the Special Forces in the North. Now I shall unite the Scoyatal. Finish what you started. I shan't kill you, Roach. We Enshe never kill the last specimens of dying breeds. Live on and remember who defeated you. Remember he can do so again. Va fail, Vernon Roach. You're making a mistake, Yorveth. I will find you. Unfurl the mainsail! We made it. This is just the beginning. But you chose the right side and I'm pleased. Wish I could be so sure. The assassin had had his day. Very true. He'd kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Fultus's life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. If the elves could be believed, it was there that free folk from all around had assembled beneath Vergen's banners to resist the Kedweni invader. I should mention the exceptional individuals who made up my fellowship for this important quest. I usually get nervous around Scoyatel. I see them as scoundrels and murderers and find their presence outright unwanted. But I must admit I was glad to have the help of Yorveth and his infamous bunch, who could prove highly helpful. Help. Helpful. That's not nice. Highly useful, then. thousand men. Burned to ashes in minutes. I remember the stillness when the news reached of Engerberg. The palace, the streets, the houses. The entire capital cloaked in silence. The cries were here, every last man. I was somewhere beyond that hill, in the middle of the massacre. What is your intention, Saskia? I intend to stop Eden from being sold. 
but we cannot afford a war with Henselt. We must parley. Leave issues of war to me, Prince. Concentrate on King Henselt. Jarfin Zigrin claims he's short-tempered. Provoke him to strike, and we'll negotiate once the battle's won. I still cannot fathom why the nobles betrayed us. Spit on the nobles, Prince. They've meant nothing since the day my peasant force scattered them on the Diffney. The girl is a demon incarnate. Firstly, the girl has a name. Secondly, she's the best commander I have. All others have betrayed me. Silence, Olcan. We near the meeting place. We shall sign everything, Your Majesty, as you. We have guests. Welcome, Stennis, son of Damavend. I invite you to... Greetings, Henselt. You seem at home in Edurn. You are here, yet I do not recall inviting you. Felot did so in your stead. I'm here at his behest. I've broken no truces or treaties yet. Oh, is that so? Mr. Brogan, please escort Count Felot to a secluded spot and remove his troublesome head. Don't you dare, boy! You're no king! Your father! My father is dead! The folk still mourn him while you betray his good name and his country. Your Majesty, I must request your protection. This young man has lost his mind. Take him away. Your Majesty, what of our agreement? I need you no longer, Felot, now Stennis is here. Anyone else wish to object? Wonderful. To the matter at hand, then. Well said. I will show you my hand. I've over 200 armed men in camp nearby, enough to hold the fort for several hours. Another 5,000 battle-hungry lads await on the other bank. What say you to that? There'll be 5,000 dead lads should you move against Vergen. Take time to consider, boy. These are border marches, a mere piece of land. Relinquish it to me and you'll keep your crown. Oppose me and I shall crush you without mercy. Give me Lomark and return to Vengerberg. This piece of land generates more revenue annually than all the forests of the great Kedwin combined. Upper Edurn is an everlasting pot of gold. Should I simply relinquish it? Or do you plan to make a purchase? Will you pay me with berries? Animal pelts? Will you send your armies into Kedwin's woods to gather mushrooms? You're right. Better I send them to steal your pot of gold. I'll not be intimidated, Henselt. Perhaps. Is it possible you merely play the courageous cockerel, yet deep inside fear eats at your heart? Is one push enough to send you over the edge? Or must I push twice? Try me. I tire of this discussion. I have the upper hand and no amount of scintillating talk will change that. We both know I'll not leave empty-handed. What do you propose? Withdraw your forces across the Pontar, and for all time relinquish any claims to Upper Eden. Whoa, hold there! I don't believe you understood my query. What will I get out of it? Peace. You mock me? You think this is a game? You just talked yourself into a war, you little shit. Don't threaten me. We came here to speak. Enough of your prattle! Draw your sword! Saskia. I'm ready. Care to dance, your majesty?
Stop in the name of Kreev, Freyr, and Militale! Hey! By the milk of Mother Creatrix's tits, Geralt of Rivia! And are the best company to boot! Yarpin Zigrin! It's been years, you old prick! It's great to see you in good health. Geralt, staring as if you've seen a ghost. Muster up a hug for an old friend! Geralt's head's not exactly on straight. Ha! Meaning you truly did in, Foltest. Fine by me! Foltest was a plowing niggard and a niggardly plower. You did right, Geralt. Not the point. Geralt's lost his memory. And I didn't kill Foltest. Right, right. What's the difference? Someone did. But we're bigger problems now. Where's Saskia? Oh, aye. Why is this butcher here? I've come with a hundred archers, the best in the world. We're here to aid your cause. Well, you'll need to wait. Saskia and Prince Penis, sir, uh, rather Skinnis, went off to parley with Henselt. Me and the boys are waiting in case something goes wrong. The sun's gone dark. Call the sorceress! Come, Geralt.
Blade. You're with the guts of the Blade. 